What's going on everyone, Vinny BB here, and today CS2 has finally released their game. And with a new release, as in this is technically a revamped version of CSGO, there's an influx of new players. So a lot of new players and returning players coming back to the game forgot their smokes. So today I'm going to show you how to smoke simple things on Mirage, and let's hop right into it. Before we begin, I have every smoke timestamped in the description down below, so if you want to check it out, and jump right to one it's right there in the description also if i miss a smoke like an alternative to like smoking a certain place in the map please let me know down in the comments below leave me feedback leave me some like new nades like new smokes that you found and they made it easier so we don't have to execute a smoke map what we can do is come over to here to practice turn on infinite warm-up ammo and grenade camera and just hop into mirage and here we go the first smoke and the most elite smoke of all time how to smoke a window from T spawn. This is the this this is the normal way how to do it. This is the best way how to do it. Anybody can do it. Any rank. What you're gonna do is you're gonna come into this trash can, squeeze yourself, nestle yourself into this corner. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna stare at this door frame, and you can see the railing right here. You're going not to aim. You're not gonna aim at the line. You're gonna aim right above it. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna jump and throw. So three, two, one, jump, throw, and we're gonna watch that nade sail. And on the screen down there, it's gonna bounce off the corner. And if you're playing CT, the guy who's opping CT, he's not going to see from this side. If he goes over here, he's going to see nothing. This is perfect to execute mid because a lot of people don't really know how to smoke mid. They usually just come up mid and oh, I'm just going to chuck it in the window. But this smoke, even if you're up here onto this wooden thing, you won't be able to see for a while. The smokes last for a while, so make your mid execute worthwhile. The next smoke I'm going to show is how to smoke off cat without being exposed to window and this connector spot right here so you can cross the top mid. Now since volumetric smokes are new, this is personally the easiest way for me to do it so we can cross the top mid. What you're going to do is you're going to snug yourself in this corner and at this antenna, at this second interval right here between all these wires, right at this cross, you're going to aim right in the middle of that and all you're going to do is just throw your smoke. And I'm going to show both perspectives from the T side and the CT side. So after I throw it... As a T side, okay, the smoke just now popped. Now, connector, they have to see a tiny, tiny bit. Window will not be able to see you whatsoever. If I'm sitting in window, I can't see anybody cross at all. But if I'm sitting here in connector, I have to be squeezed up against this wall with a gun to shoot here. Now, if you're holding the spot, this is a very wild decision that you just made. But I think that is the perfect smoke on how to cross the top mid. So if you're sitting here at this very, very small angle, or definitely a person. Next, I'm gonna show you how to smoke short from your spawn so you guys can take mid as well. All you're gonna do is come up here to this trash can, get snug right next to the trash can, and throw at in between these leaves right about here. All you're gonna do is jump throw, and we're gonna follow the nade as we go over here. Say if I'm playing on CT side, you know, I'm trying to hold cat, only with an op, trying to hold chair. You won't be able to because it's all smoked off. The only way you can get through this, even if you are in ladder room, is to just play in ladder room or go back to site or push through the smoke. Next smoke I'm going to show is how to smoke connector so you guys can take mid and cat advantage. What we're going to do is going to come over here to this corner right here. And after doing some testing, I think that this one works the best. What you're going to do is I'm going to show it through the op here that this is your little buddy. And what you're going to do is you're going to go from him, go straight up and hit this line right here. So the bottom of your cross here connects with his body. What you're going to do is you're just going to jump throw. And right here, it should land on the fourth or third, fourth step. Ah, I land on the higher step. So if you're in connector and people are crossing, you will not be able to see them whatsoever. No matter what corner you are sitting in, maybe you're snug up against here in the corner, which you can barely see, you won't be able to see cat whatsoever. If window smoked off and it's smoked off right here, now the smoke is kind of fading in and out because that's the volumetric smoke, but you'll be able to take cat advantage super quickly. Now we've got the A side smokes. I will show you to smoke CT, jungle, connector, in front of jungle and connector and stairs. I'm gonna show you some simple ways how to smoke CT. What you're gonna do is come up to this pole and right at this diagonal line at the very bottom, you're gonna aim your crosshair right on top of it. All you're gonna do is just jump throw. So while the nade is soaring through the air, I'm gonna act like I'm a CT player. So I'm standing over here waiting for it. And then, oh no, they got smoked off. So if I'm trying to jump on the box, they'll definitely see you from anywhere on the site because your head's peeking over through the smoke. So this is an easy way to stop anybody who's opping CT, and if they want to kill you, you can obviously see them with their dark outfit, jump up onto the box, and easily get them. 
the next easy CT smoke that you can do is come up to this corner right here and you can see as in a shape of an eye that bumps out what you're gonna do is just aim right at the middle of the eye press your body up against the wall and what you're gonna do is look at this part of the building that's coming off just aim your cross here right at the very edge of it and all you're gonna do is you're just gonna jump throw and while the nade is soaring through the air that we see on the bottom left imagine if I'm playing CT I got my op I'm ready for him to push out uh looks like I can't because I have to jump on the box even if I did that I can't even see over it this is also a great smoke you can't see anything and the only way you can actually go through the smoke is flashing and just praying to god that you'll get somebody this third ct smoke it's a bit more complicated than the other ones but i'm gonna show it off anyways what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your body go up against this door frame press right up against it the stain goes all the way up and stops about right here this big stain on the side go across that line until you get to a thing that looks like a like a slanted t at the bottom of this t you're gonna aim your smoke and all you're gonna do is just jump throw right on that brick now as the smoke's flying through the air we're gonna go to ct and as we're in ct we can't steal off the left side and on the right side we have to do this to see over and if we're standing here hopefully somebody on the t side will see us and then take our head off now this stair smoke is the updated cs2 version i'm gonna show you the right way and i'm gonna show you the wrong way how to do it so the right way how i do it in the most simple way is come up to this door frame right here and you're gonna aim your nade right at this edge this diagonal piece right here but you're not going to aim on the line you're going to aim a little bit inwards and what you're going to do is just jump throw so as that nade is being jumped through the air as we can see in the bottom left as a ct player once the nade lands it's all smoked off and it leaks a little bit over into connector too so if you're playing stairs or connector you'll only be able to see ct not over here but if you're upstairs you can't even see it even if I go in the smoke, I can't see that much. So I believe this is one of the best stair smoke. With the volumetric smoke too, it kind of leaks over into connector. And this is the smoke you should stop doing. This was a smoke in CSGO that does not go over to CS2. Although it does work, it's going to cause problems if you're trying to retake sight. So come up to this piece right here and aim right at the middle part right here. We can see that this is going to land stairs. It does land stairs. But here's the problem. Once it hits boom if you're a ct player and you smoke off a main and they decide to smoke off stairs the one place you can perfectly hide right in the middle of sandwich the smoke falls off into sandwich and you can easily hide in there if you're playing on ct which is kind of bad because it usually happens the majority of the time when i was playing today i threw that smoke and that happened to me so if i were you i would start straying away from that stair smoke and start using the easiest simpler version that i use the next smoke I'm going to show is how to smoke in front of connector. Basically this whole area right here. So jump, part of jungle and part of connector cannot see you. So what we're going to do is we're going to come back over to this door frame. And we're just going to line ourselves up once again with the door frame. And we're going to aim right about where the wires on the second part meet the black part. So about right in this area. It doesn't have to be perfect, but just around that general region. And all we're just going to do is jump throw. And now while that nade is flying through the air... We're going to come over here and act like, oh, we're on the CT side. And make sure that the whole smoke goes through. Can't even see into Palace at all. Can't even see on either side of the smoke. Even if I back up right into here all the way. If I'm opping, I can't see over this at all. The smoke is perfectly done. Nothing's leaking through the sides or up top. And they won't even be able to see you. But once the smoke fades... That's when you got to start acting on site. Another way you can also smoke that off is coming up right up against this. This was also used in CSGO. Pressing up your body against that. And right here, the top of this like archway right here, at this diagonal, you're just going to do a little bit to the left, like in between this black dot and this right here. And you're just going to toss the nade perfectly. This one's a simpler one. It was used in CSGO a lot. And this also works out no matter what. It could be the easiest one for you to do. Or if you want to do the other one, that's up to you. So when you're in jungle, can't see anything. When you're looking on the sides, cannot see anything. The only thing you can do, go upstairs and risk risk your life. Now I'm going to show you two different ways on how to smoke jungle. One is a super simple way, and the other one is a little bit risky, but it's doable. The one I do that's the least harmless out of all of them is going up to these four pillars right here, but go to the second set and go to the first pillar. What you can do is you line yourself right up against it, and you're going to aim right here at this second piece of thatched roof. All you're gonna do is just jump throw so as we jump and throw we're gonna run over our jungle and as this smoke hits the corner and drops all the smoke will come out 
And since the volumetric smoke is now filling up the spots that were barely filled, like right over here, they all they have to do is either run out or rotate CT or wait till the smoke fades. And personally, I do this in my games. And I think that's the most harmless way you can do it. Now let me show you the more riskier way. Make sure the top, bottom, balk are cleared and default triple and firebox are all cleared. Come up to this corner, come up to this green canopy and right here, this thing sticking out of the building, you're gonna hit right here on the very corner of it. All you're gonna do is throw should land perfectly right into jungle and as we wait for it to pop say if i'm trying to hold palace or pull the cross the entire park gets filled and the only thing you can do jump out window run through it rotate ct or just wait for the smoke to fade and the last smoke i'm going to show for a site is how to smoke top connector now this is the only smoke i can find if you find any more let me know but this is how i've done it even since csgo now this smoke is a little bit more complicated but once you get the practice in, it will become like easy money. So right here, you got this pallet. You're going to step right on top of it into this corner. I don't know why it lifts you off the ground. And we're going to aim at this piece right here and go a couple inches to the right. Aim our smoke and chuck it. So if we're on cat and we're trying to see if like someone's going to defuse the bomb or what, the entirety of connector will get smoked up to the top. The only way you can really see is by like jumping over it. Getting on top of this box, however, you can't see anything because the smoke covers it. And so that smoke might take a couple of tries, but it is a perfect smoke for connector if you don't want anybody opping you if you're planning on site, maybe like right here or right next to this box as well. And that's all the A-side smokes. Now moving on to B-side. This corner right here is your best friend. This is where you throw the most crucial smokes to take that B-side. What you're going to do to smoke market window is you're going to walk up right up against it and right here at this corner, I'll zoom in with my op. You're going to aim at that dark part, the top dark part of the castle. And all you're going to do is jump throw. Now, say if I was a CT, you know, holding holding right here with my op. The smoke is coming down. It bounces right in. Smokes the entirety of market window. Can't even see over it. Can't even see anywhere in it. It is perfectly smoked in and out. And that is one of the most crucial smokes you need for B-Sight. The next smoke I'm going to throw is for short. Now, I'm going to explain something after this, after I throw the smoke, because there's some things you have to take note of. So, right here, we're going to aim at the very edge of this building, right here. And all you're just going to do is just throw the name normally. No jumping required. Just chuck the nade. Say if I was CT, you know, I'm trying to retake the bomb site, Or if I'm playing on short or cat in general, this whole thing will be smoked off. However, people could still play right here, you know, in this cubby, in this area right here. Just be wary of that after you throw the smoke. Once market window is smoked, you can smoke market door next. You're going to come over to your best friend corner right here. And this is the easiest smoke, in my opinion, for this. Right here, you're going to look at this second window and this bumped out dark arch, right? Like bumped out part of the building. I don't know what to call that. But right between this part, say about right there. We're just going to take it and jump throw. And no matter what, if you do miss it just by a little bit, no matter what, nonetheless, look at that. Smokes off perfectly of the market door. So now you can take sight if you have both things smoked off. And if your teammates dropped you all the nades, that is a perfect retake for B-Sight for those two spots right there. Another easy smoke is for this right arch right here. What you're going to do is you're going to walk up here and you're going to put up your body against this wall right here. And you're going to hit the pillar and it's going to stop you. And all you're going to do is look at this top of the lamppost. Jump throw. And while we see that smoke drop, it's going to land perfectly right onto the right side. So all you have to worry about is the left side. Even if you're in apps, you don't even have to worry about that. All you have to worry about is trying to get through here while looking at short. If you do have short smoked off and if that smoke is for you. And the next B smoke I'm going to show you is how to smoke off someone who's playing bench. Who's just holding everyone from apps, you know, taking everyone out. It's going to be smoked right here. So what you're going to do is you're going to come up to B apps. You're going to come up into this corner right about here. Snug yourself up, up against the wall. And at this like ace unit up here, you're going to aim right at the corner. And you're just going to throw the nade normally. We'll see the smoke fly across. And if I'm playing bench right about here, I won't be able to see anything. Even if I get on the brick wall, which why would you ever, it won't work for you. You'll just get your head taken off. Also, another way to help your team on B site, say if you're rotating all the way from your spawn, is come up to this corner right about here in this doorway, this left corner, and look at this corner right here on this building. And all you're going to do is jump throw. And say if I'm on the team trying to retake the site and there's somebody on cat and someone knows for sure, 
We're trying to get on site. The smoke will drop. And all you have to worry about is someone who is playing arches. And as you can see, this is all smoked off from your spawn. This is also another smoke to help you retake that B site. Say if you're trying to rotate out and you're trying to fake A or something. This is the perfect way to get rid of somebody who's playing on short or cat. And that's how you smoke B site on Mirage. Now I'm going to show you one or two smokes you would use if you were stuck, say, top mid. Now let's say you and your teammate are stuck top mid. There's a guy opping a window. He's going crazy this game. And you just need to escape him. All you got to do is come up to this set of boxes right here. Crouch. And at this corner right here, we're just going to aim right at the corner. And just chuck the nade. All you can do is crouch. Look at the corner of the box. Chuck the nade. The nade goes right in. And no matter what, the whole entire smoke will cover the entirety of the window. There's no one ways. Even if I get on this thing right up in this corner, I can't even see what's over here. So basically, if you're stuck top mid, that is the one way you can get out of that situation. Be able to run back to your spawn. Be able to run through mid. Just as easy as that. Another cool smoke you can do from mid to B, if the window and the market door weren't smoked off here, is you can smoke front sight right about here. So we're going to go all, all the way over to mid, and say you are top mid, you know, stuck top mid, your team needs help B, they don't smoke anything. You're going to get nestled up right in this corner, and what you're going to do is you're going to aim right at the corner of that antenna right there, the top of it. All you do is just jump throw. Now as this is bouncing, we're going to watch it drop right through the tarp, because the tarp is non-existent. And it's going to land right in front of you. So if you're standing right here, you won't see it through market door. And it is the perfect spot for you just to come to the site, plant, and have your teammates watch the smoke just in case they push through it like a boob. There you have it. Those are all the smokes I use on Mirage as a T-sided player. I didn't cover CT only because CTs just throw your nades bully nilly, throw in an ARAM, throw in a B-apps. That's easy said than done. And if I did miss anything, or if you have any new smokes of your own, please let me know, know down in the comments down below. Leave me feedback, leave me opinions. I will definitely fix it, because I want to try and cover every map in the game. Although, this is my first time ever making a smoke video, uh, I'm open for anything, like any feedback that you guys have to give me. So thank you all for watching, I do appreciate it. And expect more CSGO videos like this in the future, and more funny ones for sure, coming up very soon. So thank you all for watching, until next time boys and girls, I'll see you all later. Peace! The next smoke is how to smoke connectors so you guys can take cat advantage and basic mid advantage. And I'm going to do this straight from the spawn. A lot of the people will do this corner and do the rug, but I feel like this is the easiest for me. So what you're going to do is you're going to come over here to this trash can in front of it, snug yourself in there. And what you're going to do is you're going to aim at one, two, three. This third crossing of the antenna, aim for the middle part of it and jump throw. And while we see the smoke soar through the air, it's going to land at the top, smoke the entire thing off. I've tried about 20 more times to hit that smoke, and I don't think I can. I think that was like the best smoke I could have done for connector. Holy hell. You can manage to pull that off. Jeez. Dear God. I didn't mean to do that.